Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 2018 in Frankfurt, Germany, and today we're at the NVIDIA booth, and I'm here with Satinder from NVIDIA. Satinder, thanks for having me here, but let's start beginning. I heard about this DGX2. Can you tell me more about this device? Oh, sure I can, Rick. Yeah. We're actually looking at one right here. Okay. This is our DGX2. Yeah. Um, it's been recently announced at, at GTC uh, 2018 by Jensen. It's, it's a 10 kilowatt box, uh, 16 GPUs, uh, 32 gig of RAM per GPU. It's, it's phenomenal. Okay, <laughs> Two petaflops of performance. Yeah. If we were to look at standard CPU technology, mm -hmm. this one box replaces 300 Skylake systems. So you're condensing down 13 racks of Skylake systems into a 10U yeah. format yeah, yeah. of I 10 mean, kilowatt. I like to call it the dorm, the dorm refrigerator format, you know, <laughs> yeah. a form factor, but um, <laughs> can heater? you kind of give us a little tour of the inside of this thing? Definitely, sure can. Yeah, yeah. So here's our latest generation GPU. Yeah. It's a Volta 32. All the rest of them here are sitting here with as well, and yeah. they're all interconnected with our latest creation here, which is the MV switch. Uh, the MV switch is an 18 lane switch that connects every single GPU in the 16 GPUs to each GPU. It's, it's cross sectional bandwidth is 2.4 terabytes per second of bandwidth. Um, what kind of workloads would benefit from this architecture? AI, yeah, you know, deep yeah, learning, yeah. Uh, if you're using TensorFlow, you know, to do your training, mm -hmm. and HPC environments as well. We've got applications available for HPC environments yeah, yeah. that run on this on this device. Wow, yeah. wow. And you said 10 kilowatts. How are you keeping that cool? Well, it's, 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 it's an interesting equation that data centers are now having to look at. Yeah. It's a lot of heat coming out of the back of it. Yeah, yeah. Some data centers are going rare refrigerated cooling. Different, different solutions are available for that. But the form factor is there to, to solve some of the problems that we cannot solve today. Eight GPUs, which is our previous generation, DGX1, yeah. is, is capable of X amount. Mm -hmm. this, this device can train the same model 10 times faster. Amazing. Amazing. So, because of the cross-sectional bandwidth. Okay. Well, I was at Jensen's keynote, and he kind of described this from a programmer perspective as a single, world's largest single GPU. Is that a good way to describe this? It, it definitely is, because yeah, yeah. every single GPU can talk to every single GPU. We have unified memory across them, so they can all talk and collectively solve a problem. 